Boy, no. Good boy. Good boy, my good boy. Through. Good boy. Well done, buddy. Well done. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Boy. Nope. 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 Good oh boy. Good oh boy. Nope. Good oh boy. Good oh boy. True. Red. Good oh boy. Good job. Okay, that's it. Mark your tree. Good boy. Yep. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, man. Good boy. Yep. Good boy, man. Good boy. Rabbit, sit. Sit. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Good job, man. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You didn't let get Barney out. I thought he was Bodie. <laughs> Do you want me to get Barney?
So we're just leaving the holiday dogs out of this. It's just our pack. He really wants to run, but when he gets, like he wants the dogs to chase him, but then when they do chase him, he's kind of a bit nervous, or oh, should I still be running? Yeah, he's, he's lacking a little bit of uh, confidence in the play, like when he, he invites them to play and then they play and then he sort of hesitates. So you could probably be from the same bloodline with your markings. <laughs> okay. 
what tudas, what shifts, what money. Cousins. Alright. Got a white chip on your tail? So today is shelter dog day and Dee and her staff are out in the playground and um, uh, running around a few dogs to go for a swim because it's a bit of a warm one today. And then we've got Rover here with our house pack and you might remember Rover, we've done a few uh, videos of him already, he's come down a couple of times and originally he was, see you Chris. Originally he was here, uh, sorry, he got surrendered um, to be euthanized. And then he canceled euthanasia and just said he wanted to come down and uh, for me to have a look at him and, and see how he went and see if we could do some, do some, uh, some testing and, and just see what we came up with. Um, and it is very evident that he's lacking quite severely in social skills and socialization um, he can be quite reactive he's quite reactive in a in a cage in the back of the car to, to any other any of the other dogs um, but we seem to be able to get him to calm down and and join in with our pack obviously our pack uh, you know pretty well socialized and um, they know that he is not up to speed just yet, but they also are giving him the time of day to, to allow him to come out of his shell. And he comes and does zoomies and plays around. It's a really good, good thing to see from a dog with his, um, you know, rap sheet. But when we get him out here, he seems to relax. He seems to, he seems to just let all his guard down and he's able to learn and, and, and be a part of the pack and be a part of the, like just allow him to be a dog. That's the goat, the goat's always here. Oh, no, they can, they can see Shrek, yeah. Right, yeah. Okay. Rodeo, what's this one? Ready, ready, go. It's a, it's a shame to see when you see this side of him, how he gets caught up in a position where he is, uh, because he doesn't really test that well in the shelter when they do, you know, sort of group play sessions. He arrived today and they told us that he had a full blown fight with one of the other dogs and both come away with some injuries and no, it was only the other dog. No, I just felt his neck. He's got a punch wound on his neck. Oh, he does? Yeah. Oh, okay. When I was patting him, I felt it. Oh. So... Yeah, it's hard to decipher what's going on there. Like, I, I know when I get him here, he does show all the signs of, you know, I'm aggressive, but... You're able to quickly get him to drop those, and then he just says, okay. And he, it's like he's, it's a front, and then all of a sudden, like you can see, I don't know if you filmed it, Sam, but when I went up to all the other dogs, and all the other dogs, I allowed them to, to bark at him, and he was a bit nervous, oh, what are we doing so close to all these guys? And then you saw him jump up to me, as if to say, because I wouldn't let him leave, I'm like, we're staying here, and he's jumping up, I'm like, what are we doing, why, why are we here? He did it the same here when we're going through the gate, and he's he's I'm able to get some trust from him and and get him to you know go off my cues, uh, which is a good sign. It's a really good sign. You know, he's obviously a very intelligent dog. Um, he just needs you know someone who's going to treat him like an intelligent dog and and 
not let him walk all over them. Um, most of the time, that's a problem with intelligent dogs. They're not given enough credit for how smart they are. And then some of their behavior is confused with, oh, they don't know what they're doing when really they know exactly what they're doing and they're pretty much taking you for a ride. Maybe we misread up there playing with you. <laughs> Which is often the case with working breeds. Yeah, working breeds often. Yeah, Kelpies because... are big ones and cattle dogs. Yeah, because they're highly intelligent. They want a job to do. They're constantly programming your body language they're reading everything, they're categorising what happens when and why and what your body is telling them subconsciously when things happen. So they, they're calculating everything. And a lot of the time, you know, when, when I was doing a lot of training with um, clients, a lot of the time it would just be unwillingly the owners are giving the wrong information with their body language while their mouth is saying something else. And the dog's just picking up on it and going, your body's telling me this. But poor um, Rover, he also hasn't had the benefit of any socialisation. Well, no, he's never been given the right start, that's for sure. Um, and then, I don't know what the story is with his old owners, but he's obviously been given up very, very young. And a lot of the time, that's another case of not realising just how much exercise working dogs need. He's a young dog, he's very athletic, he looks like he's got a bit of Kelpie and something else in him, what do they say he is? Not, Not sure. sure, no. But he's got something in him that, you know, he could use with a lot of energy and uh, I think that most of his issue would be that he's just pent up. If he was run, exercised properly, stimulated with, um, you know, some structured training, I think he would do very well. He'd be very, very high performing. <laughs> he does his short bursts. Shadow and Miss Red are, you know, they're up for play. Hello, beautiful girl. Hello, beautiful girl. Shadow, 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 Maggie, good girl, Barney, good job, Miss Red, good girl, good girl, Miss Red, Rosie, Matilda, Miss Violet, Rover, good boy, Banjo. Little cuties, look at you. Oh, oh, you're so beautiful. <laughs> you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Come on. Oh, boy. Come on, Maggie. Come on, Maggie. Oh, boy, mate. Let's go up there. What do you reckon? <laughs>
You know, chance is only, well, he, yeah. he's not even, is he at this point, you know? No. So. So even daycare dogs. Yeah, they That's struggle. Where daycare dogs fail is. He's the, really the intense. intensity, close in, like he's really just, he's not going into fight mode at all. He's just allowing it to happen. He's nervous of it. So but... just explain to everyone, uh, like, just the complexities of why um, most dogs fail in this situation. Yeah, so as you can see, when I throw the toy, all the dogs bark with excitement and charge down the end. And so when you've got 15 charging dogs coming towards you barking, for a dog that has very limited social skills, usually they go into fight mode and they just start defending themselves thinking they're about to be attacked by a million dogs. Because they can't tell the difference. They can't They can't decipher that, oh, you're just excited and that excitement isn't focused on me. You know, they, they just think, oh my goodness, I better defend myself. You know, and they just go into it. But he's not even doing that. Like I was purposely through that toy to watch what he's doing. And like he's flinching going, whoa, what's all the noise about? And, and you know, he's he knows what's going on and he's not entirely comfortable with it but he's definitely not going into any any social behavior like he's happy just chilling out he's not withdrawing but hey, go. hey look he even wants to go in, in yeah, pretty, you should jump in, in babe get in there with him you're right buddy you want some Hey, 
Hey, you gonna come back in? You gonna come back in? trying to get this off in the boat. A lot of the time, if a dog really wants it and they're not getting it, they'll turn on the dog. Um, so he's doing it really well. Frustrating, isn't it? Is, it? it is frustrating. Yeah. Like he's, he's obviously got a you know a fight response, but he seems to be able to just take the hint of no, that's not a response you're allowed to do here. Yeah. So he's very trainable. He's just, oh, he's so trainable, yeah. But um, well, you can't ignore the fact that he's involved in a lot of scuffles. You know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? Like you can't just discount that? No, of course not, yeah. But I just, I do just wonder if it's because he's giving off all those antisocial cues out of nervousness or being unsure. And then the other dog's reacting, and then so he's like, well, here we are, let's go. Yeah. You know? hmm. So it's not like he is going to shy away from a confrontation. But I think he gets himself there accidentally. Yeah. Because I think he'd much prefer to do this. Absolutely. Yeah, if, look if at he him. he really was aggressive, like, and that's who he was as a personality, then he wouldn't be doing this. You know what I mean? Oh, 100%. So, um, Bryony said that um, she's been down here every day this week. So, it does yeah. mean that they can bring Rover down, you know. Yeah, for a couple of day trips. Yeah, which I think is a good idea. He's, he's, he's going to benefit a lot from it if he's doing this. Yeah. 
hopefully, Look at him. Yeah. hopefully we can wear him out a bit more than just once a week. Yeah. And for full on days. I mean, they might see a behaviour change up there for the day or two after. He'll he'll go back to what he was yeah. on day three, but if we're seeing a change in his behaviour up there after a full day here, it just means he's pent up. He yeah. needs to be worked. He yeah. needs to be stimulated. Well, let's go down and see what's happened and um, maybe Happy. we can say to Dee, like, next week he's just there. Just down, drop him off in the morning, yeah. pick him up in the afternoon. Yeah. Whenever they're doing vet trips down here yeah. or whatever. Because they're um they're down here on the coast. I just spoke to Bryony and, yeah. and she's she was here every single day this week. Yeah, right. So if that's the case, like he might be able to come down for a couple of days. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Alright, we'll hit him up and let him know. Because he's loving the pool. Yeah. He's gonna be a swimmer if he keeps coming Absolutely. down. Absolutely. He's definitely gonna be a swimmer. And he is, he is getting along very well with all the pack members. Because I'm surprised, because all the dogs play differently, and Maggie likes to test. You know how she comes Oh, yeah, I saw she was testing him. But yeah. he's just like, woohoo! Yeah, let's play. Let's play yeah. You know, Roscoe's had a. Good boy, mate. You know, a, vo a vocal, boy. you know, who are you? And, and he's. Yeah. Good non reactive. Well, you know, if he doesn't really want to get in a scuffle. Roscoe's not a good one to <laughs> pretend to, you know. Yeah. Um, but I think that goes back to what we were talking about before. That's why I brought him up to the fence before he let the dogs out. Um, he's going to see them react. He's going to see me be calm and, and not responsive to the to their um, behaviour. And then that's when he comes up to me and he's like, what's going on? Why? You know, yeah, tell he, me what to do. That's right. He's, he's looking for me. And that's that was my cue to go, okay, cool, we'll let the dogs out. You know, because then when it is tense, I can talk to him. He's going to go, oh, yeah, all right, I'll listen to you. Yeah. Okay, mate, come on. Let's go down and see what's going on. Come on, Rover. Yes, I am really well with all the dogs. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's good time. He just drops all his guard and plays and jumps around and... So we were thinking, Dee, um, because Bryony said that she came down almost every day this week. Is it possible, like, for her to, you know, when it suits you guys, yeah. to bring um, Rover down, you yeah. know, to hang out for the day? Like, yeah. if, when you can... It can work for you, but um, we're just thinking that if he hangs out all day on a regular basis. Well, he's coming down. He's got an appointment with Sash at Tugra oh, yeah. Yeah. on Friday to have those x-rays, yep. uh, CT scans. Yep. Yeah. What time's that? I think it's 11.30. Right. Okay. So we want to see what's going on with his plumbing. Yeah. Yeah. But even if you've got other appointments, like if you're coming past in the morning and yep. then coming again in the afternoon, just bring him down, drop him off for the day. Okay. And then, um, yeah, just try to... I'm thinking if, if we give him a full run around, he's, he's a dog that needs a bit more than just an hour. Yeah, he does. So if we give him a full run around for the day, it'd be interesting to see if you're seeing any behaviour changes the next day up in the... Yeah. Shelter. That's uh, he, he needs it. He doesn't cope with being in the shelter. That's what I'm thinking, mm. yeah. Out of all, we've got two that are really, really noisy in the shelter. Rogue is one of them. Yeah. And Tank is the other. Mm. Uh, but hopefully with Tank having a meet and greet this afternoon and there's lots of people that want to come on the weekend, yeah. Tank's going to be very... Adopted, yeah. yeah. yeah adopted quickly. Yeah. Um, but Rover, you know, he's a long-term thing with his medical issues and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe if um, if you find you're doing a couple of trips down, if you can get him a full day down here, yeah. um, and then we just see how he responds post day here, okay. whether that behaviour changes, because okay. then a lot of it will be most likely the fact that he's just got energy burn and he's not he's burning. Frustrated. Because yeah. if we can get him here like two or three times a week, yeah. you know, yeah, when it, whenever you come apart, yeah. but we just can't house him overnight. No, that's okay. Completely understand. Yeah.
It's good actually just to send him to daycare. That's yeah, it. it well, That's what I mean. you know. If, you, if you're travelling down to different appointments, just drop him off. And well, even if we're not, we can make it happen. Yeah. You know, because it's about what I, he I needs, think, not what I we think, need. I think he'll, yeah, he'll I think really he'll benefit from it. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> like you should have seen him up there playing around in the pool with everyone. Because he will get intense socialisation, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So... And like we, that's all we do all day, you know. Here, so yeah. if he can join in, he he'll he'll get so much from it. That's a big bark you got, boy. That's a big bark you got, mate. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello, mate. I saw you were a bit cheeky there before, weren't you, mate? Hello. Hello. You are gorgeous. Yes, you are. You're a Mrs. Freddo. Hello. Hello. Hello, mate. Yes. Hello, darling. No longer the Terminator. Oh, no. Hey? No longer the Terminator. She can still live up to me. Yeah. Hello. Hello. But Hi. she's so sweet, though, she's isn't not, she? She's not focusing on the dog when you're giving her attention, though. Which is a good thing. If she was just ignoring me, trying to get in there to be a problem, but she's doing well. Amazing. Is it good? It tastes as good as it looks. Gotta get into it. Okay, look at these. I know. I'm such a fan of caramel, so. Oh, are you? I. Good boy. Well, it feels like a summer day. Oof. Yes, it's hot in the sun, isn't it? <laughs>
You pulled out the phone, they all disappeared. You pulled out the treats, they're all worshipping in the ground you walk on.
Fine, sit.
goodness.
statue is so beautiful. Yes. <laughs> Hello, hello, beautiful girl. <laughs> you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. Oh, you're so beautiful, Bobby. Yes, it is. Is it too early for wrestles, darling? wrestling. Let's go comes in and backs it up. Oh, thank you, mate. And then watch what happens when I wrestle. Watch what happens when I wrestle Roscoe. <laughs> Complete slim. Mm. Well, you, mate. Well, except when Barney's there. He just accepts it. Where's Wolf? Yeah. <laughs> 
And do this, it's gonna end up straight on our couch. Won't it, mate? Hold on, buddy. I don't even know where you got this from. Everything's dry at the moment. There you go, buddy. Oh, under the belly there. There you go, mate. Yeah. Oh. There you go.